So, I released a video that showed off a build for the Karak that was made for lower level players that don't have access to many of the weapons and their builds. So, to help out these players, I've, I made a build that can get you through most of the planets for a gun that is very easy to get at, at the start, as you only need a Master Rank, well, you know, you don't really need a Master Rank, as it is one of the first guns that you can, you can buy the blueprint for and make. But, the build I showed off before won't get you through every single planet. One, because not every single planet has Grudnir, so having a build that is only aimed for killing Grudnir will make it harder for you to complete missions on higher level planets that have Corpus on them. Like, I don't know, Uranus or Pluto. So to fix this, I have made a build that is aimed at killing Corpus, and I have found that this build is actually a lot better at, at doing at doing the thi at doing the thing it's supposed to do. It is better than the build, the uh, grenade killing build, because you know this one can actually this this Corpus build can actually kill level 40s to 42 pretty quickly. Because you know in my experience, it takes like around three to four bullets to take out most of the low tier enemies, like the Corpus crewmen, and just like enemies overall die really quickly with this one, with this build. Well, when I use the Grenier build, I find it really hard to kill level 40 to 42 Grenier. Like, it would take half my mag to kill one low level tier enemy, which, if, if you can guess, is pretty bad. Like, again, I'm being, it's, it's a little bit, it's a hyperbole, but still, it's, that's, it's, it's still a lot of bullets just to kill one low tier enemy, low tier Grenier. But like, it doesn't really matter that the Karak Grenier build can't kill level 40 enemies because honestly I am surprised that the Karak, a beginner gun, has a build that can get you through most of the planets and another build that is very viable for Neptune and Pluto, which is pretty good for a beginner gun. But like by that point you would have a better weapon anyway than the Karak. So there is no real reason to use this on Pluto other than why not. But I made this build so you can fly through most corpus missions, you know, easily, just just killing everything just destroying everything and just, just literally just going straight to the game like it's nothing. It's that, That's why I made this build, you know, so for the lower level players that don't have, like, haven't, like, gotten luck and got some, like, the really good weapons or don't have access to the really good weapons and they want a good, like, they want a decent weapon, like, a, a, a decent weapon that can be turned into a good weapon, which is, in my opinion, is the Karak. It's probably one of the best beginning weapons you can get for primary, in my opinion. But all that aside, let's actually get into the build. Uh, here's the build for, you know, my, uh, Corpus Killing Machine for the, uh, Karak. Now, the, the mod I want to show first is the, uh, is Crash Course. Now, the reason I want to show it is because it honestly isn't that important in the build. Because, like, oh, I, I, that, okay, I see what's wrong. It is an important part of this build, and it, it, like, it does make you very more, it does make you more effective when killing Corpus. But again, if you don't have it, which I don't think you can, which, um, which is completely understandable, because I, I've only ever seen it this um, mod drop from Baro, I don't know how to say his name, the guy comes every two weeks, um, I've only ever seen it drop from him, that's where I've gotten it, and I've, uh, I just purchased it from him, so if you don't have it, that is completely fine, you can just switch it out with our uh, Ripture, and yeah, so it basically does the same thing, so, it, oh, it doesn't do the same thing, it takes, it takes away a little bit of, you know, impact, but, you know, it's still, it is still, you know, um, uh, pretty, like, it's still going to do damage, you're just going to do less. But if you do use Crash Course, you should put it in. It is very, it, it is, this mod works really well with this. As you know, this gun is aimed towards, you know, more impact, so, you know, it's going to be, it's, you're going to, if you add this in, you're going to have really high impact, so. If you have it, using this. Uh, the other mod I have here is, uh, Ceneration. I didn't need to say why I have this, you know, it, it just increases damage overall, so, it's pretty obvious why I have it in this gun. It's just a good uh, mod to have overall. Okay, now we have Bane of the Corpus. Also, I don't really need to explain this. I have this here because this is a Corpus build. I want you should have a Corpus damaging mod on a Corpus build for taking out Corpus. So yeah, there's nothing I really need to explain that. Um, faster hands. Now the reason I have faster hands is because this gun overall doesn't have that much of a re like doesn't have that much of a fast reload when compared to the size of the magazine. It only has a 30 round magazine. And for how long the reload speed is, which I think is like four seconds, four, three and a half seconds, that is pretty slow. So I, I, I have faster hands to increase the reload speed. So that means I um, have, so that means like I don't need to increase the mag size because you know most mag size increasing ones, uh, most of the ones I have, I don't really have any um, prime ones or any um, of the yellow ones. I don't know what they're called, rare ones. I only have the basic ones, uh, whereas I only have the basic mag warp. I don't have that. I don't have like a, a yellow version of those, or I don't have a prime version of it. So, 
nothing I can really do about that, so I use faster hands on this, because, you know, so I can reload faster, and there's, like, less time between me, like, reloading, um, and me reloading, me shooting, uh, me shooting and not shooting, so I can actually get more bullets into the actual target, so, you know, that's why I have it in here, it's, uh, in my opinion, one of the most important mods you can have for this, is, this is for, like, most auto rifles, most auto rifles, when I first start out, like, leveling, I'll, I'll always put on center action first, and faster reload, most of the time. Uh, these three, and now we've got these three mods right here. These three mods, um, just get, just give me a sec, quickly. Yeah, there. These three mods right here are very important in this build right now. They are, um, they are some of the most important mods there, like, the, they're the reason, because, you know, these, these mods right here, when both, when basically, we're just going to say two mods, because, you know, this is just, like, a cold mod and electri electricity mod. When a cold mod and electricity mod are uh, joined together, they make uh, a secondary element called uh, magnetic. Now, what magnetic does is that it is it basically halves the enemy shields. Uh, I think so. Or takes away shields. Well, I think it halves it basically. So that means that you, and like you basically just half the shield is completely, and you have do you just do you can just literally kill them quicker. That's very good. But like you know, and um, I have this one up here, rim rounds, because it increases the status chance of of these ba of magnetism actually working and actually taking halfing the shields so it's a very good perk perk mod to have on this so that's why I put it on so that means I can half health look quickly half health quickly and also the reason that magnetic is good is because it's the only secondary element I think that has two positive damages in it so that means it's going to be adding into damage just not it, when, when I mean it's going to be adding into the damage, I mean every single bullet, even without the secondary element proccing, is still going to help towards the actual damage. That's what I mean when I say that. And that means it's going to do more damage overall. That means you're going to do more damage overall, and you're going to, you're basically just going to kill the corpus quicker. Because, you know, um, I'm pretty sure, I'll put up a chart quickly, and I'll, before I continue on, this uh, this chart I showed in the last video, and I said and it's the same thing, thing here. This is going to be in the description of the video, so go down and check it out. Grab this um, this graph, and I recommend using it when you're making um, when you're making builds or anything. I recommend, as I said, download it and then put it next to you if you have a second screen, or just have it in like a quick tab so you can easily quick tab and see what damages are good against what enemies and what damages and what they do. So that's a really good th that's a really good thing to do because it, in my in my experience, it really helps me out because. When I'm making builds, I can't remember every single effect and what positive damage it does to specific enemies and what negative damage it does to specific enemies. That is very hard to remember. Like I don't know how people just like I know I've seen people on videos like they they just like they just this re 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 like recall what a damage basically does off by heart. Like I have no idea how to do it. It's very complicated in my opinion, and I can't really do it. So that's why I have um that's why I usually have Grav next to me. And maybe, maybe eventually I sh I could be able to actually be one of these people that can um, recite it off the heart. But as we go on, as you can see the, the graph coming up, um, you can see that magnet uh, magnetic is the only one that has a positive damage. I think it's 50% positive damage and 75% positive damage in 50% positive damage in the shields and 50% 75% uh, positive damage in the P shields. Now these two, now what shields and P shields are, shields are basically on the basic enemies, or are like Corpus Crewmen, and the P shields are on the high enemies, like, um, oh, what's it? oh I keep forgetting the names, um, you know the, the ones with the massive bubbles around them, and when you go in them it takes away your energy and allows you not to actually use your um, perks, um, I mean, I mean abilities, that's what, those ones, they have P shields I'm pretty sure, and a lot of the higher, basically any higher T enemies that are harder to kill usually have P shields, and so that's basically what it does. So this is basically going to make it so you can kill enemies a lot quicker. And yeah, so that's wh that's why I love it. It's probably the most used, probably the most used and the one you want to use the most when making a corpus build because it just absolutely shreds for enemies. It's it's probably it's the best secondary element. And uh, yeah, so that's why I have all these. So this is all all these together. And I was just gonna say when the, when like literally when these damages. And this and generation all add to get also including crash course or end together. It just adds a literal it literally every single bullet punches to the end. It is literally a punch in the enemy enemy. You can literally destroy go through waves of enemies. And in the lower like lower level ones, you can literally it's basically like a little bit less effective than a bow. In um IO, a mission I use this gun a lot on, on IO it, it literally two taps every single enemy. It is really good, 
And unlike a bow where it is it does one shot enemies, but it's a one shot fire you need to aim. With this you can see corpus enemies running towards you, you just spray at them, they're all dead. They're literally all dead. And that's why I like really like this gun, especially um for lower the lower ones, because you don't really need that much effort to put in it, and it's just it's just really good. Now again, there are better weapons like um uh soma sum I don't know what it's called that um uh, I think it's called sum I some I know it's called it's like it's a really good aura for that gun is a lot better for like that kind of stuff. I don't know, I just prefer this, and I've just started leveling up, so I'll probably start using that more often. But if you're like a lower level player and you don't have access to the sum I think that's how you call it. This is what you call it. If you don't have access to the Zoom, this weapon is a good old, 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 um, old, ulterior thing to use. I don't know. Sorry, just messed up that um, messed up that phrase, but it's it's really good. It's and especially for like how like what level you get it at, what master rank you get. Literally, you don't even need a master rank to get it. It is amazing. Like how far you can get with it. Like you know, you see you see most of the master rank weapons. You know, m like master rank one weapons. You can you can barely use them anymore. This one you can use pretty far into the uh, game if you, only for the corpus though. The the build for the green you can't use that really high. But you can literally go to Pluto with this and and still destroy. And like level 40s can still destroy. So I this gun is really good and yeah. So this build is probably the best build I uh, you can probably make right now. I can make right now. If you former it probably use other um other like high tier perks you can probably do it. Probably make it better. But again like that point um uh, I'm trying to get the like. Uh, what was it? Kaka Kaka Wraith. So I'm probably going to use that because you know that, that that's that's that has better and apparently that, that that's a lot better than this gun. So I'm probably going to use that more often. So when you get to that kind of level. So again, I recommend you you like once you get to the high levels to watch out on, on invasions and get the Kaka Wrath. That's a recommendation. And uh, yeah, so just get that. And uh, yeah, okay. I'll I'm just going to end it now.